Here we have a, a, a fraction that we need to simplify. and This fraction has three different variables. It's got negative exponents. It's got fractions over fractions. It's got lots of things that strike fear into the hearts of many algebra students, but uh, we can do this. We're not deterred. Now over here on the right, I've written some uh, exponent identities that we need to keep in mind that we're going to be using while we simplify this. So uh, let's just... Uh, Let's just charge right in. First off, the numbers. We have 6 over 10. I think we can all agree those are both divisible by 2, and we can simplify that and call it 3 over 5. Secondly, let's look at this piece here. Uh, if you remember, anything to a negative exponent is the reciprocal of that thing to the corresponding positive exponent. So if I have y over z to the fourth, I could just as easily call, I'm sorry, if I have y over z to the negative fourth, I could just as easily call this z over y to the fourth. And I think that's going to help us a little bit. So let's, uh, let's rewrite this, and let's call this 3x to the fifth, and I've got z to the fourth power there, divided by y to the fourth, and so I'm going to call that times y to the negative fourth. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, also, I had basically I had 1 over y to the 4th. The z times 1 over y to the 4th, and 1 over y to the 4th is y to the negative 4th. So it, you'll see why I do that in a second. Um, and uh, here we have 5 times z cubed times, and let's do the same thing here. Let's break this up and call this x times 1 over y squared cubed. And so that's going to be x cubed times 1 over y squared cubed. And so that's y to the negative 2 to the third. And that's y to the negative 6. And this whole thing is still to the negative third power. That's probably the hardest part right there. Okay? If you can get that far, you're in really good shape. Because now, well, now check it out. We've got 3 over 5. We have x to the fifth over x cubed. That's x to the five minus three. That's just x squared. We have y to the negative fourth over y to the negative six. That's y to the negative four minus negative six, which is negative four plus six. That's y to the second. And then we have z to the fourth divided by z cubed. That's z to the 4 minus 3. That's just z to the 1, which we just call z. Okay? And, again, this is all to the negative 3 power. And you can see this is getting simpler and simpler as we go along. Now, let's remember what negative 3 power means again. It means we're going to take the reciprocal of this and take it to the third power. So this is going to be 5 over 3x squared y squared z. Cubed. That's easy. 5 times 5 times 5, 125. 3 times 3 times 3, 27. x squared cubed, x to the 6, 2 times 3. y squared cubed, same thing, y to the 6. z cubed, z cubed. And we are done.